Time flies, doesn't it? Someone has broken the record for the biggest burger in the world again. Mm -hmm. the service here is fantastic. That sound is supposed to help you fall asleep. It used to do that for me. It used to calm me down. The waves made me feel peaceful. Time stood still. There was no beginning, no end. Now it's just making me nervous. There is nothing calming about that anymore. We've all looked at the ocean, we all know the surface waves, and uh, we've been to the beach and seen them breaking. But we rarely look below, but that wouldn't mean that nothing is happening below, that all is calm. And on the contrary, there's a lot of activity going on in the deep ocean. There are all sorts of different waves, and one prominent example would be internal gravity waves. This type of wave arises at the interface between different fluid layers, for example, between denser and lighter fluid. And they are much, much larger than the ocean surface waves that we've seen. They are as high as skyscrapers and they are hundreds of kilometers wide and they propagate through the entire ocean. But just like the surface waves, they can become unstable and overturn and break. And like we know from the beach when the surface waves break, such a breaking event means a lot of turbulent, chaotic, swirling motions of small water particles that are then mixed. And because these internal gravity waves, they are basically everywhere in the ocean, because of that, we also have these turbulent motions when they break almost everywhere. Not everywhere at the same time, but very often patchy and intermittent, but it happens often enough that in some, they have a huge impact on the whole ocean. And this is because this turbulence, I mean, that happens on very, in a very small area, but it can change the properties of the water. So it can make denser water a bit lighter, and lighter water rises. And it might, may not rise a lot, but in some of the entire ocean, this is a very important process. This is an energy source for the large-scale circulation. So this large-scale circulation, that's the surface waters in the Atlantic flowing northward, and then they cool and sink down. And then to create a loop and keep this loop going, these deep and cold waters, they need to be returned to the surface. And in the interior ocean, this turbulent mixing is a key process to contribute to moving these waters back to the surface. So, here we have an example where really small localized events and some have a big impact on the large scale motions that we could think initially maybe were the only ones that matter. But here we see that everything is intertwined and connected and that we also need to look at this. 100 people paint a picture of the sea and you will get 100 identical pictures. Simple drawings with too few pixels. We're satisfied so quickly, we don't want to know more. Thank you, that's enough. Uh, it's getting too complicated.
Looking at the sea is supposed to help against depression. But this is making me sad. That I can only see a surface that doesn't even exist. I watched Titanic last night, yeah, back then, uh, the iceberg, the problem, today, no iceberg, the problem. <laughs> Speaking of icebergs, Freud, he never actually used the term iceberg in his theory, so really, not even once, look it up. <laughs> yeah. What was much more interesting to him was, was the ocean itself. The oceanic feeling. It describes a feeling of being, of being one with the outside world. A feeling of being unlimited. Of being eternal. I wonder what that feels like. I have no idea. I'm more of an expert at the, the iceberg feel. <laughs> but wait. Wait, when an iceberg melts, it becomes the ocean. So, maybe the iceberg feeling is just an earlier stage of the oceanic feeling. Gradually raise your own temperature to be at eye level with the sea. So maybe I just have to wait. Something reliable, something like like bread with butter, you know, or 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 a raincoat in this weather, or 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 a call from my grandmother who tells me, "Don't worry, you're a nice person," you know, something that I can, you know, something concrete, or just another drink. Mm. 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 The service here is fantastic. Sorry, I've lost my sense of proportion. Yes, proportion. I need reliable quantities, reliable numbers. No, reliable letters, because letters are more reliable than numbers. Yes, every serious equation has more letters than numbers. <laughs> Uh, 
that's all. You always need, like, a, you know, evidence. Even for colors, I mean, well, you, you, you don't seem too cold, but that's okay. Me neither, so that's fine. So, uh, you, did, did you already enjoy your drink? Are you done? I did not have one. <laughs> it's yours. No. No, hers. <laughs> oh, 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 you're taking the photo. Um. <laughs> did you enjoy, did you at least have one sip of our drink? I had one sip. Did you enjoy it? It's very sweet, to be honest. Well, uh, let's um, ask someone else. Oh, hey, you're a, you're a drink. Are you a scientist too? Are you, you're a scientist if you do research, right? What do I know? Are you a scientist? Yes. What, what, is, what is your field of research? Uh, surface waves. Surface waves? Hey, I've heard that before. <laughs> fevers, like constantly, and then the same thing happened every time. I got up out of bed and I opened the door and I ran, ran from room to room through the whole apartment and something was following me, something huge. This shape without contours, like a huge geometric body, but without edges. Suddenly it's standing there, right next to me, looking at me, like a dog. It's mine. I, I bought it. But I couldn't pay for it. It's way too expensive. It's infinitely expensive. I could never, ever pay for it. But it's mine. And it's standing there looking at me with those doggy eyes. large, impressive motions, and that's not unreasonable because it's, in the ocean it's the <coughs> large-scale current systems that carry the heat around the globe that affects the temperatures that we feel every day. And if we want to describe that in a numerical model, what we do is that we put the ocean on a grid. So we basically put a net around the globe, and in each lot of this net, we solve the set of equations that describes how temperature changes at this point or how velocity changes. But the problem is that everything between two grid points or between two knots of this net is lost. But the model doesn't see what's happening in between. So to get a more detailed picture, we would have to decrease the distance between two grid points. Just like with a photograph with more pixels, you see more details of what you photographed. But at some point we run into trouble because we don't have infinite computer power available. So we can't have a very, very fine grid. So instead what we do is that we tell the model what it is not seeing. So for the large scale overturning circulation, that is to some degree driven by small-scale turbulent mixing in the ocean interior, we would have to tell the model about the wave breaking in the interior ocean and the turbulent motions that this causes and the energy transfer to the large-scale motions. So all this chaotic turbulent mixing that you know from the beach when you look at the ocean surface waves, when they break, 
All this is also happening in the ocean interior due to internal gravity wave breaking. And this is what the ocean model typically doesn't know about and which needs to be put in for a more realistic description of the larger scale circulation. I'm walking on the beach with my parents. There on the shore are hundreds, thousands of jellyfish. Right next to us, there is a little kid who is tearing the thin, transparent skin of a jellyfish apart. I'm thinking to myself, if those jellyfish looked like kittens, people wouldn't just walk past them. We wouldn't just walk past them. And children wouldn't be picking at them with sticks. Jellyfish are 98% water. Humans are 60% water. Those 38% make all the difference. Those 38% make all compassion impossible. What percentage of water is actually made of human beings? Have I mentioned how fantastic the service here is? <laughs>